I want to talk about welding safety. The first thing you want to make sure is that you have an appropriate space to do your work. You want to have a clean, dry shop. Water and welding don't mix. You want to make certain that you have a nice cement floor or dirt. Some of the best studios I've had uh, in the past have been simple sheds outdoors with a dirt floor. You want to make sure that you have adequate electricity. Most welding machines take either 220 or 240 volts. You shouldn't mess around with that yourself. You should make sure that you get a qualified electrician involved if you need to. You want to make sure that you have adequate ventilation. In our shop, because we're in a closed environment, we use what's called a point ventilation system. This exhausts most of the fumes directly at the welding source. Uh, in a simpler setup, if you're outdoors, you're going to have plenty of natural ventilation, but you always want to make sure you have some kind of exhaust fan, keep the doors open. You also want to make sure that your workspace is cleared of any kind of flammable materials, right? No paper, no books, uh, no lumber. You want to have this space as clear and dry as possible. If you do have an accident, you want to make sure that you have an appropriate fire extinguisher close at hand. And of course, you want to have good lighting. Uh, good lighting makes for good work and a safe workplace. Your gas bottles. We have here an oxygen and acetylene setup. Very important that these bottles are secured to the wall or to a designated bottle cart. Before you start working every day, you should check your connections, gauges, and torches for leaks and or cracks in the hoses. Um, you want to make sure in your workspace that your welder is in a clean and dry location. Uh, water and dust are the enemy of machinery. Um, it's also good practice to make sure that your welder is unplugged when not in use.